Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the world of balance. For it is gone. This is the world of ruin. As you can see, most of it's bare desert land, well not desert land, bare rocks, faded grass, and murky water. And you can't really tell right now because the rocks are in the way, but if you look at the world map, it is completely changed. And such is the case with the whole world of ruin. It is completely changed. The world has indeed been changed forever. No longer is it Empire versus Rebellion or anything like that. Now, everybody has one goal in their mind. Survival. It's basically like a post-Holocaust, or a, what's the word I'm looking for? A dystopia future. And I love how they did it. Alright, let's get Celeste uh, fixed up. She will have, okay, she's already got sprint shoes. I'll give her that uh, Genji glove in case I run into uh, enemies. Um, yeah. Uh, all that stuff is good. You know what, actually, um, Ashley, let's give her a flame saber and a thunder blade. That's a good combat combo right there. And for Magicite, she will, okay, look, somewhere along the line, she learned Fire 2. I don't know exactly where she learned it, but she did learn it at some point. That's pretty good. So I think I'll I'll continue with her on Maduin, but she'll be learning so she can learn Ice 2. I'm not sure when she learned Fire 2. Uh, must have been off the Flame Saber, I guess. Can the fl No. No. I don't know when she learned Fire 2. I'll have to go back and look at my old videos, but... She learned Fire 2 at some point, and that's actually good, because that'll make things a little bit easier up ahead. Now, before we progress with the plot, we got some side quests we can do. But first, I want to check this village here. Hey, it's Albrook! And yeah, this is the town music for pretty much all the towns for the rest of the game. With some exceptions. Not all the towns get this music, but most of them. And some towns, like Albrook, you can tell, they look different. They've got bare grass, and yeah, they actually look different. It's cool how they did that. Some of the houses have holes in it. Yeah. Did you see that tower? I did see that tower. Kefka's up there, and he's using the power of the statues. He's like a god. So Kefka's sitting on the top of his tower. Let me guess. He transformed into a giant eyeball, and he lost his ring. <sighs> he's about. He's gonna do about the, as much as Sauron ever did anyway. Just sit there and watch everything happen. You, the sparkle in your eye. You're the spitting image of a man who came through here recently. You son of a gun. Celeste is a beautiful blonde young lady, and you're gonna say she's the spitting image of a dude. I think what he really meant to say is you remind me of somebody who came through here. Anyone who opposes Kefka gets his or her town fried by the light of judgment. Oh, that's no good. So yeah, pretty much... Yeah, how, how's that for a power trip right there? The dude just, if he decides he doesn't like you, just kills you or destroys your town. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and people say that Sephiroth was a better villain. Ugh. Everything changed on that day. I know it. Ah! Hot fire! Ah! 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 I think that's the only fire in the game where you can do that. And let me just go ahead and uh, satisfy the Final Fantasy VII fanboys. I don't hate Sephiroth. Or Final Fantasy VII. I just, I like this game better. And I like Kefka better. When the world was ripped apart, many long-sealed monsters were released. Foon Baba, Doomgaze, and the Eight Dragons. Wait, what? Did someone say... Dragons? I love dragons! I'd like this dude to move out of my way. You can go down to the fairies if you want, but there's absolutely nothing there. I don't even think there's any people there, so yeah, you can't go anywhere. That sucks. Because if you remember, our airship got ripped to shreds, so we don't have that. Uh, I found this in a 1,000-year-old text. Eight dragons seal away this awesome beast. 
Its name is Crusader. Defeat these dragons, and its power can be released. Why do we have to defeat the dragons? Maybe this stupid Crusader thing is evil and the dragons are protecting it. You ever think about that? But no, everybody just assumes dragons are evil. Also, he says a 1,000 year old text. Uh, just for the, any little kids that might be watching this, he means text manuscript or something like that. A written word. This game predates text messaging. It was a better time period back then. Huh? You again? Oh, sorry. You look just like a man who was here searching for his friends. He said he was going north to Tsin. Yeah? Well, you look just like a man who told me that. What do you say to that? I saw Doomgaze soaring through the sky. I'd rather take an acid bath than fight that thing. <laughs> take an acid bath? A person? Me personally, I'd rather take a stick in the eye. But uh, I mean, I mean, what? You, you just, you're just gonna let him punk you out? You're just gonna let injustice soar the skies while you do nothing because you're scared? You know, it's people like you are the reason why this world is messed up. I mean, uh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Doomgaze, yeah, don't want to mess with him. Okay, I'm literally stuck right now. These guys are blocking my path. There we go. I hate the NPCs. They get in your way. I was blocked on both sides. I was like, am I going to have to reload state just because I got blocked by NPCs? How can you make a GP in a world like this? I hear you, buddy. On that day, debris from all over the world floated eerily to the center of this landmass and formed that tower. Ah, I'm pretty sure none of the items or relics or any of that crap has changed, but I'm going to double check just in case. So nothing here. I don't think there's anything worth exploring here. Let's check the cafe. Oh, I think back on how nice the world used to be. Yeah. It was nice, all right, with the Imperial soldiers running the joint, acting like they own the place, creeping your girls out, yeah. Probably punching anybody who came in there without an invitation. Yeah, it was real nice back then. And realize it'll never be the same again. Good riddance. Yep, the whole dance floor is empty. Mm-hmm. Some of the some of the world of ruin is really kind of spooky. Just like thinking about how like a minute ago it was filled with light, or a year ago rather it was filled with so much life. And not anymore. Okay, nothing here that I want. Actually, what sucks is there is a a relic that I kind of want. I don't. Yeah, I kind of want it, and uh, I don't have it. So, oops. It is the amulet which will protect me from Petrify and Dark and Zombie. It's, it's okay, I'll be able to get it, but I'm gonna need it fairly soon. But let's see what, what else we can get. What kind of trouble we can get into. Okay, so there's, there's literally no new weapons or armor, but you can go up here and talk to this dude. Remember him? I finished the Emperor's paint portrait. It was a true representation of the Emperor, but he hated it. I ended up selling it to Ozor, a rich man who lives in Jador. Well, I got good news for you, buddy. The Emperor's dead. So that's what he gets for hating on your painting. And if I ever see this Ozor dude who lives in Jador, apparently... Wait a minute! Ozor! Yeah, I, I know. I've never seen the man, but I've been to his house a couple times. Yeah, I, I know. I know where he lives. Oh, uh, hang on a second. Had a problem got a message from uh, Google. They should know not to bother me when I'm Let's Playing. Stupid. And, uh, yeah, this guy sells nothing new. Although, this guy, he says the same thing. He, he you know, the more of the Magi 2 ultimate weapons existed, one changed a person's power into a sword, and the other was a monster bred for mass destruction. I know, dude. I've got them. I've got the uh, Ultima weapon in my inventory, the sword, and I actually fought the monster on the floating continent. There's actually one more thing in this game that involves Ultima. And it is the spell. But, uh, not for a long time yet. Alright, um, actually, um, let's give her, let's hold off on Madowin just yet. We'll give her Phantom so she can, uh, 
now. She can, oh, let me save. Uh, this save state here, you notice it may look different than it did earlier. It's uh, a separate save state that I'm playing alongside this, but for right now, let's concentrate on this one. That must be Kefka's Tower. And I can't get in it. Can't walk into it. But after all, you should know as well as I do, you should know by now, one does not simply walk into Mordor. Or Kefka's Tower. Uh-oh. Gilomantis and Miosaur. I think the one, one of them will always... Okay, hang on a second. That little green lizard thing or whatever. See, I'm not sure which one is which. Okay, the Miosaur. I'm thinking, yep, he always escapes. Well, he doesn't always escape, but you can kill him fast enough. But he likes to escape a lot. So, yeah. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Just, uh, I like to get Vanish on Celeste so that way, you know, she can't get hit. And I'll keep Phantom on her so she can learn the Vanish spell. Turn my volume up slightly. Uh, stay out of that desert. There's nasties in it. Zen! We were here before. Okay, now what I'm about to do in Zen is a side quest that you can do later on. And, um, it would probably be easier for you to do it later on. However, if you wait till later on, you won't be able... Well, if you wait, then it'll make future events a little bit more difficult. But for right now, let's go talk to this lady. The Serpent Trench used to be deep underwater. Now it's above sea level. Some cult of Kefka members have built a tower there. Ugh. Kefka worshippers. Ugh. What the heck?! The Unforgiven! What's going on here? We resisted Kefka, so we unleashed his light of judgment on us. Hurry, or the house will collapse! What house? There are monsters inside! They keep petrifying everyone who goes in to help! Using suitable relics? Uh... No, I don't, actually. Must have irritated Kefka. I'm going to actually... Well, <laughs> believe it or not, I can actually go into the um, relic shop and... I can buy an amulet, or an amulet, which I want. I want at least one of those. I may have to buy more later, um, which is kind of funny. Um, also, I can, in fact, uh, no, 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 no. I can actually go to the inn. Let's say over here. Uh, yeah, all I can do now is restore your health. Please go back inside and save that child. So apparently, there's a child that needs to be saved. So. She gives you a free in, but uh, I don't want that because Celeste has uh, Vanish on her, and I'd like to keep it that way, although she is a little low on MP. Hmm. May have to mull this over. Eh, that should be okay. Let me just go ahead and uh, change her setup around slightly. We're going to have to lose both the Genji Glove and the Sprint Shoes, which is really going to suck because I really wish I could give her Sprint Shoes. It would make this next part. A little bit more bearable, but I think I should be able to do it. I did a practice run and I should be good. We want running... Do we want running shoes? Yeah, we want running shoes and we want the amulet. And for weapons, we want... The flame saber. Yeah. And fire too. It's good to have fire too. Now we're walking slowly, but we'll just have to deal with it. So I guess Kefka tried to uh, attack this place and now a house is collapsing. But... Oh my gosh, is that... That looks like... Well, let me talk to her first. My child's inside! Do something! Is that... Let me just say real fast. Sabin! Hey, Celeste! Let's head in! Wait! If I move, the whole house will collapse. First, save the child that's in there. I can't hold this up forever, so... Get out on the hum! Urgh! See, Sabin can pick up a locomotive and slam it on the ground, but it can't hold up a house for more than five minutes. Six minutes, actually. Yes, time is of the essence! If the time runs out, game over. And sprint shoes would help, but I need running shoes and I need amulet. Just about everything here is uh, un <coughs> excuse me, undead, so fire does wonders. Uh, there's lots of treasure in here. If you don't get it now, you'll never get it again. Phantom protects against Doomsting and all that kind of stuff. Just about anything else that these guys can throw at you, so that's awesome. But even if you were visible, you would want the amulet to protect against, like, you know, zombie and whatever 
Okay, got a heal rod, that's awesome. Oh, and got a pearl rod, that's a holy rod, if you were actually wondering. Uh, this game says oh, pearl instead of holy. Okay, got a hyper wrist, so I don't need that. More scorpions, I'm just gonna take these guys out one by one. When I run into different enemies, I'll just use actual fire too. Actually, I might have to start doing that anyway, because my time might be a tad low. Or I might, I might be good, I'll get that chest on the way back up. Okay, I think I'm doing good as far as the time. Let's go up here. Receive Magicite. That's just normal old Magicite. Hey, there's... Well, there's the kid, but I got into another battle. A single Fire 2 spell won't quite take these guys out. So I'm just going to save my MP for when I need it. Okay, I think we're making good time. Come on. I'm scared, don't worry, you're safe now. I gotta read that kind of quickly because time is still ticking. Monster in a box! Okay, this is uh, four PM stalkers. Oh my gosh, they got me in a pincer attack. They did not do that in my practice run. Crap! That's gonna that's, that means more time because I can only attack them at one at a time. And she he drained me. That's just awesome. I'll have to deal with that some other time. Right now I don't have the time. Crap! That was not supposed to happen. That screwed me up. That messed up my momentum. Okay, there's one more chest down here. Okay, got the drainer. I'm pretty sure that's like the blood sword from previous games. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Phantom again. Wasting time. Don't use drain on me. Please don't use drain on me. Fire two. No, fire two. Oh gosh, gosh, gosh. Time, 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 time. What the heck? Okay, we're good. Okay, awesome. I was like, what the heck is that? This is why I want Phantom Mode, because they do stuff that I don't like. And go back upstairs. Get this chest, which is a monster in a box. I think it's more of those... Yeah, okay. Okay, this time I got them all in front of me, so that's good. I can do that. Single fire two spells should do it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, we're... We should be good. I think we're pretty much good. Let's take the upper path this time. Right, get into another battle. Scorpions, I don't care about them. Save on the MP by uh, just using normal attacks. Although my time's getting a little bit low, so I may have to be a little bit more careful. Okay, got a tincture. I don't care about it. Dude, the freaking... Okay, we're good now. Even if I get into another battle, we're good. The freaking... Um... Fire 2 just does wonders. In fact, I'm just going to decimate these guys right now because I don't feel like dealing with them. Doom Sting, that would inflict uh, doom on you, which would, it would give you a timer. I think after 30 seconds you die, but I'm invisible, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta, gotta, gotta make it to the door. Phew! Got out of there on time. Wait! Shoo! I don't like that part because... Well, I guess it's not too bad, but whatever. We made it. That's all that matters. Sabin, you're alive! Huh? Ha 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 ha! But of course, you think a minor thing like the end of the world was gonna do me in? Oh, Sabin. I thought everyone was gone. I had given up all hope, but... Fortunately, I was wrong. Now I know they're all alive. We need to find everyone. Then... I know, I know. We smash Kefka and deliver peace into the world. Okay, Celeste, you know Saban's alive, but you don't know everybody else is alive. That's... You, choose your words carefully. Anyway, now, now we got Saban in our party, so awesome! That's gonna make things in the future a little bit easier because we get an extra party member that you don't necessarily need to have. Saban is technically an optional character from this point out in the game. You don't need to find him. But why would you not? I mean, it's freaking Saban. Uh, back to the flame saber, yeah. But as for him, well, he'll do his usual setup, which is running shoes, well, actually, I don't need running shoes so much, earrings and sprint shoes. All right, how we doing as far as Vanish? She is almost out of MP, but I don't care. 
I don't care. Thanks for saving the child. Gee, I've never been more frightened. I was on lookout duty for Kefka, and I lost my nerve. Thanks, dude. Anyone? Yeah, you, I've heard that. I saw it! Kefka used a light beam to burn the village of Mobliz to the east. Most of the adults there perished trying to save their children. Mobliz, I remember that place. Anyone who opposes Kefka's doomed, he uses his light of judgment from high atop his tower to burn whole towns. Oh, I already talked to you. Head north to the Serpent Trench and you'll reach Nikea. Ships can still sail from there. Oh, good. So I got some way to move around in this world. What do you- you say the same thing? Yeah, you say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you say anything, or have I already talked to you? Oh, yeah, I already talked to you. Yeah, 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 whatever. Anybody else? Many monsters nowadays attack with zombie, petrify, and the like. Have you equipped suitable relics? Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. But, uh, remember before we were here and there was some dude walking around and he had an item? And he was going to sell it to us for like 15,000 GP or something like that. Some ridiculous price. Well, if you talk to him now, the world's going to heck in a handbasket. Just look at this weird stone. If you want it, just give me 10 GP. See, he lowers the price significantly. So yes, 10 GP. And you get the Magicite, Srafim. I don't know what that means. Do you say anything? Got any juicy gossip? No, not really. Magicite, Srafim. It will it re <coughs> Excuse me, recovers HP. And it casts life, cure two, cure, regen, and remedy. Or you learn that stuff. You learn Q2 cure, cure two at a good rate, I must add, but doesn't Huh. I have to use that sometime. I, I don't think I've ever used Srafum. I'll have to use it sometime. Uh I don't think there's any relics I need. I suppose I could buy more am amulets, but I'm not gonna. Actually, I will, just to be on the safe side. I remember future events getting uh, monsters that like to cast zombie on you or something like that, and I don't want that. And money's still a little tight, so you gotta watch out. I am gonna rest up in the end. At 350. During the crisis, it was free, but. Well. It's the way it is. Anything in here? Nothing. And let's check it. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. Yeah, I think that's stuff I've already got. Just be sure. Or just to verify. Yeah, that's all stuff I got too, so. Okay, nothing new. Had to make sure. Alright, let's get out of here. Save. And uh, so, yeah, Mobliz is optional. Technically, so is. Uh, not Mobliz. Um, Zen. Zen is optional. And technically, so is Albrook. So, technically, Saban is an optional character. But uh, I'm going to do. I think I have time for another side quest. It may take. A, this video may end up being a little bit long, but I'm going to do another side quest. Oh, gosh. I remember what I meant to do now. You know what? Let's, let's take care of that. Let's, uh, let's give Saban, instead of earrings, we'll give him. Back guard, if I can find it. Actually, actually, hang on a second. We're on the world map. You don't dash on the world map, so uh, he doesn't need sprint shoes. Somebody needs a back guard to prevent from, uh, you know, back attacks. So now we're going to head to this direction. Alright, let's get uh, Fader going. And, uh, I think I'll just stick with Arbolt, because Fire Dance doesn't quite kill these guys, and, uh, but I think Arbolt should single-handedly kill one of them, maybe? Yeah, and then she can finish off that one. Yep. And she learned Demi. Not that I care about it. I don't like to use Demi that much as an actual spell. Oh, yeah, um... You can find Chocobo Forests scattered around the map. Um, well, they have Chocobo Stables inside them. You'll walk into a forest and you'll see a Chocobo Stable. It works the same way you uh, rent a Chocobo. Now, I'm not going to do that because obviously I want to get, I want to walk everywhere to get experience. 
until walking is no longer the only method of transportation. If you know what I mean. So I'm just going to keep on going up here. And yeah, I haven't really mentioned those enemies. But here's some new ones. Buffalax and Delta Bug. I don't know about the Buffalax. He's gradually losing MP. But the Delta Bugs, they will go down from just about any magic spell that you cast at them. Including Fire Dance. Like so. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's, we're doing good. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And we'll head up. Or we'll head. I guess we're going east. But yeah, the continents have all changed. Everything's all changed. Oh, Bloom and Fire. Oh, these guys can cast Bio on you, so try to kill them quickly. Um, the... What you call it? That didn't kill him. Crap. Come on, hurry up and die. I was about to say, the world map changed so much, and, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. Kefka's Tower, I think, is located where the capital of Vector used to be. Kind of fitting, I suppose. You guys again. I don't care about you. I think I messed up Fire Dance. No, I did it right. Didn't feel right. And go. And let's get going up again. See, I think there's probably a Chocobo... Yep. Yeah, Chocobo Stable in here. So I could rent a chocobo if I wanted to. No, I don't want to know. I oh, oh my gosh. He doesn't tell you this every single time. It's just I haven't used a chocobo at all without reloading a save state. No, I don't want to. But let's save just in case I do ever decide to use a chocobo. He won't go through his tutorial again. Ah, get me out of here. Though it was nice to hear happy music playing. Up. Oh. Oh crap, I'm in the for- oh, boom, bloom, bloom pyre, whatever. Let's try fire dance. I feel like- yeah, I screwed it up. That's awesome. Oh my gosh! Fine, Celeste can do all the work, I don't care. Let's get out of here. Uh... Okay, now I really want him to use Fire Dance. Come on. There we go. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a little tricky to pull off. Oh, I didn't even kill them. That's bad, because that stupid Bloomin' Fire. The longer it's alive, the more chance it has of casting freaking Bio on me. Okay. Go save him! Hadouken! Okay, we're good. And so let's get a level, yays! By the way, where I'm going is completely optional also. Don't have to do this. I want to. Mobleys? Wait, this is Mobleys? Holy cow, this place is a wreck. Gravestones, that's not a good sign. Oh my gosh. I don't know if anybody's even alive here. Holy cow, there's some dogs. Oh good, there's at least a kid alive. Someone's coming! Well, it's nice to know that there are children still alive. And, um... Before I check that place out, I think that was the old postmaster's office. Oh my gosh. Yeah, of all the places you go to, I'd, I'd say Mobleys is the most trashed. This is where the uh, young soldier lives. Well, his bed's empty. Well, hopefully he's okay. Uh, I gotta walk my slow butt everywhere. And I'm not gonna put sprint shoes on because I'm gonna take them off in a minute. Yeah, this is the old relic shop. You can actually, although it's empty, you can 
go in here and sleep. There are two places in the world of Rune that are just really spooky to me. They're like ghost towns, and this is one of them, Mubliz. It's actually, though Mubliz isn't quite as spooky, though. Um, it's just sad to me, though. Um, uh, actually, before we continue, I need to change everybody's setup slightly. Well, actually, pretty good. Um, okay, Celeste can stand in the back row. Everybody needs to wear a wall ring. She doesn't need the Genji glove anymore. She needs a wall ring and running shoes. If I can find it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all good. He's not wearing anything. Holy cow, I forgot to equip him. That's fine. I'll get him to it. Wow, that feels stupid. <laughs> but he's also going to wear... Uh, a wall ring and running shoes. That's going to help us out. Also, Celeste is going to temporarily get off of a phantom. She's almost got a vanish down. She's going to put on Golem. He's going to help us out for a minute. Alright, let's go into the old postmaster's office. No, well, it's empty. I wonder if there's anybody downstairs. I remember a bunch of packing boxes blocking a doorway. Oh, they're all gone. So I can go into the door. Oh! You're gonna have to fight your way in here, chumps! Um, I can take you on, kid. That's a bunch of kids. Wait! Who was that? Hey, it's Tara! Mama, are these your friends? Wait, Mama? Um, it's only been a year and that kid's like, not a baby? Tara, what if, did you find love all of a sudden? Oh, I'm so glad to see that you're safe. I've missed you. Tara, come on, let's go. Unless we stop Kefka, all's lost. I... I don't know which one is talking. This is optional, so it could be anybody. Aw, she burst away, or she ran away crying, I guess. Our papas and mamas are gone. Aw, I'm sorry. Everyone here calls Tara mama. Yeah, she's not their mother. She just, she takes care of them. That's all. A badly wounded soldier passed away here in Mobley's. Oh man, that must have been that kid. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that that part always bothered me. He never got to see his girlfriend again. He never got to see Lola again. That always, uh, that I felt so bad for him. I saw Dwayne kissing Catherine. Dwayne and Catherine, they're still here. Oh, that's good. But yeah, I, I told them to stay out of trouble. The light took everyone, everyone. Dad, Mom... What do you say, bud? But we'll be happy if Tara come back to us. Come back to you? She had never left you. You're not gonna take Tara away, are you? She's my friend. Dwayne and Catherine are the oldest ones here. Uh, besides Tara. A year's passed, they're 17, she's 19. Get your math right. Okay, just had to make sure I talked to these guys. This is our village. You can't just waltz in here and start barking out orders. I'm sorry, dude. I, I, I wasn't barking out orders at all. I was just talking to the little children. Tara's helped us all to survive. Ever since she's been here, we felt hopeful for the future. Yeah, these two, if you remember the first time we were here, they were madly in love with each other. And apparently, everybody here really likes Tara. That's good to know. Is there anything in this bucket? No, I guess not. Does he say anything? Oh, yeah. I already talked to him. Alright, uh, just one last check to make sure everybody's the way I want them. Really, the relics are the most crucial. Okay, that's good, and golem. Good. That is, I, um, I can't fight any longer. Why not? You were starting to get really good. The very day the world fell, Kefka turned some kind of beam on this town. Almost all of the adults perished trying to save their children. That'd be the light of judgment, I guess. Wouldn't it just be easier to say that when the world got ripped up, this place just took it harder than anything else? It's heading this way! Protect the kids! And, yeah. So, Kefka just decided to trash this place just for the heck of it. What a jerk. 
Yeah. Bobbly's always kind of made me choke up a little bit. And Tara's theme. There were only children here. The moment I arrived, I felt needed. Oh, here comes Dwayne. You can't take Tara away! She's my friend, dude. I knew her before you did. Dwayne, what? Catherine looks like one of those. She looks like the same uh, sprite design as one of those fairies, the Esper fairies, just different coloration. Please excuse them. It's just that if Tara goes, she takes with her the very spirit of our survival. Spirit of survival? Tara's done nothing but whine ever since I met her. I don't know why these kids need me, but they've made me feel things I've never felt before. The moment I sensed this, I lost my will to fight. It's your maternal instincts. Even if they're not your kids. I can honestly say, I don't know what's going on inside of me. And the more I try to understand it, the less inclined I am to fight. That's all she says, I guess. Tara's helped us all to survive. I think she's already said that. So Tara doesn't want to go with us. That sucks. Although I think it's kind of fitting how um, when we first came to Collingen and Tara, that, at that point Tara had been berserked in her Esper form and uh, one there was a little girl said, ah, oh, this monster frightened everybody, but I found it beautiful. I just kind of felt it was cool that a little kid made that connection with Tara when now she's taking care of all these little kids. I think these kids all say the same thing, so yeah. Alright, let's save again. And I guess we're at a dead end here. Tara's not going to go with us, so... Let's just leave. Wait, what's going on now? Run! Help! Foon Baba's coming! And more Unforgiven music! What's that? I like how Tara buffs herself out. She's like, yeah, bring it on! Fumbaba is an ancient demon who was released when the world was undone. I think I heard his name in Albrook. Fumbaba. Well, at least we get to fight Terra. Too bad she doesn't, has, doesn't have any equipment, but who needs equipment when I got magic? Let's morph her first. Yeah. Well, let's go teach this guy a lesson. I'm feeling a little fire, too. Or not. Ow! He just wiped me out. Crap. That's a do-nothing battle. You, even if I had attacked him, it wouldn't have done any good. Nothing you do will hurt him, but he'll well, he'll he'll wipe you out. Tara, wake up! Uh oh, here it comes. And then we take charge with Celeste and Sabin. All right, first things first. Have Celeste cast Golem. Somebody needs to cast Golem. It doesn't have to be Celeste because he's got some nasty physical attacks, and I want to be protected against that. Sabin's gonna be using Suplex. That does the most damage on him. Ironically. Well, actually, I, I ought to try him. Well, no, I can't, because I don't have earrings. And then, any chance... Um, yeah, this is why we have wall rings. For that. Which, they do heal up his HP, so that's a little annoying. But, that's why I'll have Celeste be using Runic from now on. So that way, she can... Uh, well, I, I guess I don't need to be using Runic. I could just be casting spells on her myself. And Bolt 2 heals him a little bit, or Bolt will heal him, but not that much. But, uh, yeah, you know what, let's, uh, let's go for Fire 2. Let's, let's do it. Actually, I should have bounced it off to everybody. Eh, not the best. And if, um, if, uh, if Celeste gets beat up for some reason... I'll have Saban use Mantra. If he gets beat up, there's not a whole lot I can do. I think we'll just stick with Runic. So that way he can't heal himself up. I'm not going to use Runic that much. It's not a very useful move for me. But for right now, it'll work. Yeah, ironically, uh... Actually, Poison works pretty good on this guy. Yeah, this is what uh, Aurobolt does. Let's use Poison. I'll show it off. Yeah, just not as good as, uh, what you call it, um, suplex. Yeah. Poison, that will at least get him leaking HP. Oop, messed up suplex. There we go. 
But I, I would suggest using Runic whenever you can, just to protect, prevent him from ever healing himself. Oh, and he escapes. Yeah, you can't beat him. You get his HP down low enough and he escapes. No big deal. You've essentially won. I've really lost it. My fighting edge. Mama, are you okay? I'm staying here. As you can say, as you can see, I can't be of any help to you. And besides, the children really need me. But Tara! Maybe after a little more time passes, I need to understand what's happening to me. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm staying. The children need me. So, that makes sense. I'll have you if something happens to Mama! Calm down, kid. Wait, let me, uh, get the sprint shoes back on. I don't want Genji Glove. I want sprint shoes and earrings. No back guard. No back guard. And, yeah, we're done here so we can put our normal stuff back on. Where's that Atlas armor at? Oh, Atlas! Atlas! There it is. Um, Thunderblade. Front row. And I'm gonna give her... Although Golem does teach level Cure 2 at a pretty good rate, I'm gonna stick with Phantom for right now. I want her mastering Vanish. I believe Saban's already ma mastered it. Mama, are you alright? And this kid will get out of our way. I can talk to that other little girl. He doesn't. He doesn't like to though. He likes to hang right there. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, you suck. Will you move? There we go. You can't take Mama away. Okay, kid. I'm not gonna take her away. Thanks for scaring Foon Baba away. In his haste, he dropped this. Here, receive the Magicite Fenrir. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. Uh... Uh, makes multi-images of the party, and it teaches warp, X-Zone, and stop. X-Zone's one that somebody's gonna have to learn eventually. And at, uh, level up, MP plus 30, that's pretty good. 30%, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, when you summon him, he basically casts image on everybody, and I don't know if it, uh, if it lasts, like, for two attacks, or if it lasts for just a period of time, but it does pretty good. I think these guys will say all the same thing. Nah, I don't... I already talked to you. Okay, whatever. They're all they're all gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're done here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and let's, uh, I guess, heal up. We really don't need to heal up that much. Yeah, we'll heal up anyway. Okay. So this was optional. You didn't have to do it, but I wanted to do it. Let's get out of here. And I'm going to hike back to the next area, which will be mandatory. After I get vanished on everybody. Ooh, buffalo ox. That thing may hurt. Vanish. There we go. We're good now. Oh, he's still alive. I can take care of that. Yeah, um, obviously, uh, if I had come there bef without getting saving, that would have just made the battle a little bit harder, don't you think? Come on, do fire dance. Yes, 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 yes. So it's good that we have saving with us. There's another battle I'm thinking of that's really going to help out having saving with us. Or just not even so much Saban, but just having an extra hand. Besides, I mean, even though he's an optional character, it's Saban! Why wouldn't you want Saban? And yes, I'm gonna get every single optional character. There's a few others that are not optional, and like the rest of them are all optional. But I'm gonna get them all because we're gonna 100% this game. Well, we're not really gonna 100%. Uh, you know, we're not gonna like do crazy um, level grinding to reach insane levels, but you know, we're gonna get everything in this game that we can about 
And I really got nothing more to say except, uh, yeah, that, that's about it. I'm just, uh, trying to make my way to the next area. Which will... Not quite be... But yeah, you see how the continents changed. Mobliz was never on the same continent as Miranda Hudson and, uh, uh, Albrook. In fact, Miranda's not even on the same continent anymore. Miranda got moved. So yeah, the, the whole map has changed. So... You have to relearn it. Yay, she learned Vanish and Berserk. I think that's all I wanted from her. Uh, yep, so now I'll give her, well... Mm, it's tough. She'll learn Cure 2 before she learns the other stuff. So, she'll learn it at a quicker... Actually... kind of curious as to what this is about. Heck, let's get this going. I don't really care about stop that much. I hope I'm going the right way. Bloomin' Pop- Bloompire and Lizard, yay! All I can say is kill the Bloompires quickly because they can use, uh, bio. We don't want that. Come on, Sabin! Alright! That thing's still alive, and I don't care. Let's use an old Blitz. Tummel! Just for the heck of it. Just wanted to show it off. And yeah, I still haven't showed off Mantra. I will one of these days. Alright, now. I want to... Uh, hang on. Ooh, Delta Bugs. I can wipe these guys out in a single fire dance if I can pull it off correctly. Yes! Sweet. And Saban gained level. Awesome. Okay, um, if Southwest will take us back to where Albrook and San are, but I want to go north. And try to stay out of that desert because there's a nasty in there. I probably should fight him anyway just to show him off. It's like a zombie dragon thing. I don't know if he's a zombie, but it's one of those sand dragon things. I think he's called a black dragon. He can use sandstorm on you. Hurts like a stick in the eye. So I'm sorry. Hurts like an acid bath. That's going to be the new one. Let's just keep going up. Ugh. Uh, I wonder if these battle areas are considered new atmospheres. Be interesting to find out. Come on, save in! Yes! I have got the technique down pat. Let's get up here. Ah, uh, yes. This is the second tower. There are, in fact, two towers in this game. <laughs> That's uh, obviously where the Cult of Kefka tower mem clan has built their tower. And that one's blocked off from all foot access. If only there were a way I could get over those mountains. See, back in the day when I had an airship, I could have done something like that. I ain't got an airship anymore. And I know I ain't getting the blackjack back. That thing got mangled up. More Delta Bugs. Yes! And just a little bit further, and then we can call it a day. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to walk right through that desert. More Delta Bugs. Eh, failed Blitz. I fail at Blitzing. Oh boy. Okay, that was a physical attack. I don't think these guys can really hurt you that much when you're vanished. There we go. But I can one-shot them with Fire Rush if I get it right. Okay, Ice 2. She learned Ice 2. Now, how did she learn Ice 2? She's seriously not working on anything that teaches Ice 2. She must just learn Level 2 Elementals by herself. 
That's interesting. I never knew that about her. Well, that, that makes my job a little bit easier. That's another reason why I like to always give her Magisight, because it just seems fitting, because she already had magic to begin with. Alright, that's our destination. Before we enter, though, I'm going to save. And uh, we'll enter this village, whatever place it is, in the next video. Uh, and that will actually be progressing with the plot. This village here is mandatory. Until then, I'm 480. See you later.